All world Wisconsin, the Packers first round draft pick offensive lineman Brian Balaga went to the same high school as our sports reporter Jen Latta. And recently the two of them traveled back to their old stomping grounds to reminisce. About three and a half hours from his last football field and three and a half hours to his next football field sits one of Brian Bulaga's very first football fields. Here at Marion Central Catholic High School in Woodstock, Illinois, the Packers first round draft pick put together quite a highlight reel of gridiron glory. So we wanted to bring him back here to where it all began. I love it. It's, it brings back some memories now. Some memories here. But it's a good field. Here in Brian's senior year, the hurricane stormed through the regular season and rolled through the playoffs. They were undefeated headed into that championship game, but they lost. It was Brian's last game as a Kane. It was heartbreaking. I mean, to be honest, it, it was heartbreaking. You know, you go uh, undefeated all the way up to that game and uh, we just didn't play well and we didn't play up the way we normally played and it was disappointing. He still hasn't watched the tape. That's how strongly the defeat affected him. But he did learn something about himself, something that is still true today. Losing is, is odd. I mean, I almost, you know, hate it more than I like winning, to be honest. I mean, uh, losing the game, knowing that somebody beat you in a game in football, you know, it's, it's man on man type deal, and I know that you lost to that. I mean, it's, it hurts. And, you know, you, there's so much in preparation that you put in during a week to get ready to win a football game. When you lose it, it's, it's like that whole week of preparation was for nothing. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you very much. In the halls of his history, you start to see some of the former Hawkeyes' qualities. He's hardworking, Thank you very much. but humble, refusing to take any individual credit for the trophy that sits in Marion's foyer. I mean, it was a special year, you know, and all the buddies I had on the team, that's what it really signifies. It's not really, it's not my legacy or anyone else's legacy, it's that team's legacy, and that's uh, that's special to see that, you know, we, we left a piece of that here, and, uh, you know, we have something to look back on whenever we come back around. When you're proud to be part of a school or an organization or anything, you're going to be competitive for that and you hate to lose for that. You don't want to have a negative light shine on that place. When I was here, you know, you, you got all the big public schools around here and you want to be better than those guys. You wanted to be the best team in the area and that's just, you know, that's how it was built up here and all the way through. Now many will say that Brian fell in the draft, but he's not concerned with where he went, only where he's going. And for a small town guy, he's convinced there isn't a better place for him to land than the league's smallest city. Because I've always been in small communities. I went from here to Iowa, and Iowa City is no bigger than what Green Bay is going to be. And I, I keep myself around a good group of guys that don't get that way. Uh, I think my family also has a very big part in that. My mom, my dad, just how I was raised. Who are you to become bigger than, you know, who, why are you better than anybody else that's playing this game or doing that? In the high school's weight room, the 21-year-old reflects on all the winters, springs, and summers spent here, all leading up to this fall, when he'll put on the green and gold and hopefully dominate that football field like he has all the others. Obviously, I haven't done anything yet at this level. Uh, I've only gotten there, which is not even a quarter of the battle. Offensive tackle, Iowa. That's just getting your name called on stage and holding the jersey. That's really nothing. Nothing's really been accomplished yet. It's What's going to happen these next couple of months is going to determine that. So. In Woodstock, so Illinois, that. Jen yep. Latta, Fox 6 so Sports. When Brian signs his contract, he's planning on buying a truck, a big dog, and investing in a nutritionist and a chef.